All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, and we are back playing Fallout Shelter. We are on day five. We have a couple of objectives. We got some actual pretty cool things. Uh, we have a lunchbox objective, which is awesome, which means you have to have 18 male and female couples dance in the living quarters. What does this mean? It means you have to get them pregnant 18 times. That is going to take us a few days, definitely a few days. But at this point, it is extremely worth it to get a lunchbox. So we're going to continue with that. The 12 weapons, uh, our guys out in the wasteland, um, end up having, I think, 11 weapons now. So I'm not going to recall them yet. I'll recall them in a little bit. Uh, but as you can see, when I left them both with 15 med packs and 15 stim packs, uh, or I mean rat rataways, they're all doing fine. Um, Justin should probably head home pretty soon. Um, but they're going to give us plenty of caps. We're going to be doing, we're going to be doing well. Um, now we got 6,000 caps. The reason I wanted to do this was I wanted to be able to upgrade the, the hot, the med bay. So the med bay is now actually a hospital. It gives you 12, 12 stim packs. That is insane. Absolutely insane. 15%. Let's see if we can get lucky here. Perfect. So now if we look at these, we get 35. It is just... It's fantastic, man. So we're gonna be looking for 6,000 for the Rataway right too. I've restructured this very slightly. Um, I put the diners kind of in the middle. I put some storage basically in the bottom. Um, the water treatment plant, that one may move, but for right now, I basically have the big one here. And as you can see in the upper right-hand corner, it's 445 of 500. I never really go down. I don't really have a problem with it. Um, I did end up having to uh, build more of a power plant. Um, so next goal here is probably to put another power plant in this bottom right hand corner. Uh, and that way I can get it to at least be slightly symmetrical with something here. I've also decided to put my uh, athletics, armory, and weight room. Once I get another uh, individual, I will be building a classroom as well. Uh, I do have two, two people within this every single time. So again, at this point, day five, uh, it's more about stabilization, but I am trying to grow a little bit. So I grew, I restructured my place, everything does well. Most of our guys have weapons, not all of them, but most of them do. Uh, I have outfits that are basically uh, conducive to the area that they are in. Um, and I actually got a lunchbox for, which is really nice, uh, equipping your settlers with uh, seven different uh, parts of armor. Now what you can do with that is you can easily just do switch them out like this and it actually counts as equipping them with armor. So doing something simple like that actually got me a lunchbox and we're, we are actually going to be unlocking it. Now at this point we have plenty of weapons, we have plenty of, we don't have plenty of caps, we have enough caps. What we're really looking for is people, but we've gotten, I think, four people already, which is pretty impressive. So I wouldn't be expecting a person so far. And we got James. Wow, we got our dad. That is, that is incredible. And that's gonna be our 30th person. Oh, this is, this, this couldn't be better. This could not be better could not have gotten any better for us oh oh man his his intelligence is basically oh my gosh this is fantastic i i could not ask for anything better at this point we'll put him he's got a plus seven outfit that's just insane what else does he have? Perception is through the roof. If we give him, he doesn't have luck, so he's, he's a guy that wouldn't that wouldn't go out to the wasteland for us. But he's got an expert lab coat. Wow. Because he's got an expert lab coat, we really don't even need. We don't even need him there. I'm gonna be super jealous with him, and I'm actually gonna be putting James in the perception room. Uh, let's see, and we're gonna be moving Ethan over here we're gonna give him it doesn't it, honestly it doesn't even matter what we give him 
We'll just give him a rig. Nah, we'll we'll uh, we'll give him a wrestler's outfit. Not for anything other than just to recognize who it is. This guy, we're actually gonna give him the expert lab coat, and we're actually gonna. I'm gonna try and get James as good as possible. So I'm gonna increase his perception. He is going to be my new breeder. He has incredible base stats. I mean, his strength is really high. If I can get his perception up, which I plan on doing, uh, I'm gonna get his uh, strength up a little bit. He is gonna be my new breeder. I got lucky with that. Otherwise, you can just kind of keep building people. So if you ever get an objective with a lunchbox, really focus on it. Now this one for 18 people that get pregnant, uh, my vault can't sustain that right now. So you're gonna slowly, slowly build that all out. Um, as well as building out now this is intelligence which is also really cool so we'll be building that out but um, we'll probably we'll build it out over here actually again I'm trying to figure out the best way to to do this let's see so we'll use rad we'll get these away that way we can heal them up but um Oh, and I can't build yet, so give me a second while I wait to build. Yep, these Red Roaches attacks and the Raider attacks can be very, very troublesome. More of an annoyance than anything. Um, but for those of you guys who haven't prepared as much, it could probably be a lot more uh, difficult. So definitely make sure to prepare. And when you prepare, you know, you'll be able to be pretty good. So classroom, so we're gonna be putting all of our basically trainable stats in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, at this point, we are gonna need another power plant. That's gonna, that's gonna eventually go um, in the bottom left hand corner, which needs 350, which we don't have yet. So it's gonna go here in the bottom left hand corner. Um, but we also need a couple more dwellers in order to fill that. Um, but I do want their strengths all to get up. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope this is helping. It's you know keep commenting. Let me know if there's anything that you guys need help with, and I will help you out as best I can. I'll see you guys at the end of the day. This has been Pitching Games 88. Au revoir. All right, folks. Pitching Games 88. We are back playing Fallout Shelter. We are on Vault 88. Day five. Well, I mean, it's day four, but you know. Uh, anyways, so what we're going to be doing here is establishing our dwellers. You'll notice right here that I'm slowly increasing all of our dwellers. I even have James increasing his uh, perception. Something that I would like to get to at some point is endurance. Uh, because the better the endurance is, the better that you can actually get with sending people out. But at this point, again, we're really working on power and strength. So, because that will allow people to work in the power plants and make the power plants produce a lot quicker. As you'll notice right here, the power plant for me isn't doing very... It isn't as efficient. It's always above the line, but it's never full. And that's really hard for me. Um, and a lot of it is because I don't have people with enough uh, strength. So I do have these guys, they're they're working like a dog, which is great. Once they get up to about seven or eight, I'm gonna be switching them out with the people that are in the power plants as they are. Um, so that's kind of gonna be my strategy from here on out. We got a couple people that got returned to the vault. So the strategy here, collect everything, go through, and sell off the crappy stuff. So sell that, sell that. Outfits, outfits again, something that we're not really gonna be looking for unless they are, they are incredibly good. For right now, these things are just not that effective. Anything with a two and a one is something that we're not gonna be keeping. A lab coat, we have three of these. We don't need three of them, but we definitely could use at least one. The clergy's great, formal wear, don't really need it. Armored vault suit uh, does give perception of three, so we'll keep that at least for now. Now we had this individual. I think it's Justin. Yeah, Justin. So right away, let's heal him up. His bit, his best thing is charisma, 
but he's also really good with intelligence. So because we are going to eventually be sending people out into the wasteland, we need a lot of med packs. It's something that uh, we're definitely going to want to focus on. Now, Room on Fire, not really going to focus on that too much. We collected even more weapons. Fantastic. Again, go through here. Sawed off shotgun. Thank goodness we got a really nice one. Two millimeter pistols we can get rid of. Lever action rifle. We're actually going to get rid of that. Because I'm really going to try and go higher and higher. So endurance is pretty good for that. Agility, handyman, all going to be good to at least have for right now. These ones, not good. We can just sell them. All right, so right now we have basically one of everything that we kind of need for, for that purpose. And then our last guy, Matthew, he's going to collect and give us the rest of the weapons. He also did something really nice for us, which is to give us enough to finally upgrade our science station. So we're, we have, now have a science center, and we also have a hospital. Highest that they can go, which is fantastic. Now look... look at the people there. We only have one person there, so it's going to take 40 minutes to basically produce 12, which again is fine. It's it's not something that's going to be too terribly crazy. Now, his luck is super high, so we really like this guy. Um, his best thing is perception, so we can actually put him into the water plant just to keep him happy. We really don't need him for that much else. Go for here. Benjamin Mitchell is on a coffee break. His strength is really, really high. So what we can do is we can put him in somewhere like here, make that power plant produce a lot quicker. So this is actually gonna be another unique day. For this day, I'm actually gonna be doing it in three parts. I'm gonna be doing one in the morning, one right after I get home, and then one right before bed, just to kind of show you guys my strategies and how I'm manipulating my dwellers throughout the time. Now again, we do have this Send seven dwellers to the wasteland and we get a lunchbox. Fantastic. Now you can do something really, really cheesy and awesome, which is basically just drag this person into the wasteland and recall him back. So I'll show you kind of kind of how to do that. So explore. We can actually do that with everyone. Let's do that right now just so that we can quickly get... We can quickly, quickly, quickly get uh, that achievement. So we're going to explore everyone at least seven people. So let's, we don't wanna take them from there realistically. So we'll take them from, from the water plant. Honestly, they're not doing too amazing. So send these guys out, explore, explore, take another guy right here, explore. So, Again, the, the objectives that you get are completely random, but once you start doing stuff, you know, you can get a little bit more and more. So have five female dwellers pregnant. I'll be getting that pretty soon. Um, you could actually, I think once a day, you can actually delete one and, and basically have it replaced. So kill 12 creatures in the wasteland. That will work perfectly for us. So right now we need basically one more individual to go into the wasteland. We'll explore. You're gonna take a hit a little bit with your resources, but that's not gonna to be too too much of an issue. So we'll recall, 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 recall. So again, these are little ways in order to help out everyone on your staff. Boom, boom. Got a lunchbox. Look at that. Lunchbox already. Uh, so what we can do is we can... Okay, so collect. 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 And then and then we just have to basically redistribute everyone to the place that, they, that we need them to go. And we'll be, do, we'll be doing that for sure. Let's come back out. Your agility, so you're definitely going to the diner. And you guys will get a lot better at this as you as you uh, play along. So perception, obviously, go, is going to go to the water. Uh, I can't remember Barton. What's your? What are you great at? All right, you don't really have anything that 
you're great at. So, put you up here. Let's see, what are you good at? Yeah, he's not great at anything either. That's un really unfortunate. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll put him down here. What do you got? You got strength, perception. Yeah, we're going to put him for strength as well. Hopefully he'll be happy with that. And do another lunchbox, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We need either a huge weapon. That's a great weapon. I will take that weapon. Don't care about water. Oh, yeah. Patrick Pratt. Oh, snap. Look at that. All we need to do is get something with luck on this guy, and this guy will be able to be in the wasteland for a while. That is so cool. All right, so you're endurance, but you also, but he also has strength. So what we can actually do is we can put him up here for now. He even has, oh, sweet. Cool, cool, cool. So he actually even has a sci-fi fan outfit. Nice. So again, at this point, I can look for, uh, for outfits with basically a really high luck. Um, but for right now, I'm going to be gathering a whole bunch of resources. I will see you guys at the end of the day. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir.